guys, it's TTL back with another rush kit for you. And we have the lesser spotted EVGA GTX 1070, or rather lesser spotted because we haven't done an EVGA product in a long time. So we're quite excited to have this in, which is why we thought it warranted a quick rush kit. So inside the box, I'll keep it really brief for you. You do get a couple of funky stickers that you can obviously stick on your wall or I don't know, around your girlfriend's mouth when she starts moaning that you're gaming too much. Um, and then there is an enormous, and I do mean enormous, poster, which is all about arming yourself, which is all quite cool. I'm sure there are many of you out there that would sell your gran to be able to get your hands on one of those. I'm not even going to try and fold that up now because I'm going to do such a bad job of it. So, he's back, uber professional, the card itself. Now, we know it's the 1070. The main difference between the uh, 1070 and the 1080 is it's obviously got a few less uh, CUDA cores on it. Um, and rather than GDR5X, it's just the normal GDDR5. This one comes with a five, uh, 1,594 base clock and then a 1,784 boost clock. But obviously then GPU Boost 3 will do all the overclocking for you. And when we do get round to finally testing it, we will find out what that uh, maximum boost is and the average boost. Also, when we do the main review on the OC3D TV channel, we will take this cooler off and we will also show you the uh, RGB and the lighting, because obviously this is just a quick video, so we can't put too much information in. It's just a uh, EP stroke nerd porn look. Now we know, like I said, these are gonna be RGB and the side lights up as well. I have to say, there's a lot of weight to it. It does feel like a quality product. Um, even though this, the main body is plastic, it does have a fair bit of weight to it, and partly that can be because of the large um, uh, back plate that we've got on the back, obviously on the back, it's not gonna be a back plate on the front, is it? Single eight pin as normal. We can see the cooler through. It does just have to, I can't express it enough that this does feel really kind of chunky, well-made and solid. I'm really looking forward to uh, getting this in the rig and getting it tested. We do have a bit of a backlog at the moment. This is another reason for the rush kit, and this is to whet your appetite so that you know we've got some EVGA cards coming as well. Uh, but I do have quite a few other ones to do in the meantime. This literally only arrived today on polling day, the 23rd. So uh, hopefully I should have this done maybe before the end of the month, it might fall into next month. But anyway, Really, really, I really like the look of this card. Really like the look of this card. And these, um, let me zoom you in and see if the camera can do it. I'm going to be interested to see if they are Allen keys, whether they're just push fit when we finally get it uh, into uh, pieces. So I can see whether these could be painted maybe. And they're all the way around the outside as well. Camera's really liking that close up at the moment. So while, we're, while it's uh, playing ball, I'll give you a really good close up. And then we'll whiz it round and we'll go from the other side. Oh yes, suits you sir, suits you. So, that's enough nerd porn. Yes, I know it's quick, I know it's a teaser. That was meant to be the point. You will be seeing this on the main channel as soon as I can possibly get to it.